Hello friends! When laying the floor, it's necessary to tighten the boards before fastening them. This homemade tool will help with that. It is made out of aluminium and steel profiles. First, for the handle and the clamping part, the OFA cut the aluminum profile with a cross section of 25 by 25 mm into two pieces of 18 and 75 cm. Then we mark the holes for the studs. They will be the basis of the moving parts. Conversely, for the rest part we use a steel profile of the same cross section, 25 by 25. Mark and cut. Next, you need to measure the length of the studs and cut out four pieces of the right size. Now we only need to assemble the wool thing with the help of studs, washers and nuts and wrap the handle in some kind of protective material to prevent it from damaging the board. We'll feel nicer to the touch as well. And just like that with some simple work we get a handy tool. You can use it to tighten the board and hold them during fastening. For convenience sake it's best to make two of these. Next, let's take a look at this contraption. To begin, we'll explain about its purpose and advantages. This device allows to apply glue only onto the walls when hanging wallpaper. This el eliminates a lot of problems. No need to spread a roll of wallpaper over the wall room and dance around it with a brush. You won't accidentally crumple a part of the wallpaper, won't get it dirty, nothing will stick to it. Simply smear the wall with the glue and unwind the roll from this holder. It's also equipped with a bar that will help you make even cuts. Wallpaper is in order and mind that piece. And it's easy to make too. Now this thing will allow you to not only optimize the space of your room, but also to save a lot of money. This creation is called ironing board behind a facade. All parts and materials can be freely purchased. It consists of a frame made of chipboard, the transformation mechanism constructed out of pipes and encroachings, sheet, frame, mirror and the main part of course, that is the board itself. The total cost of this simple invention will be about $16, while the store counterparts will cost you $300 on average. What to do if you have a lot of tools, need them all the time, but don't have a place to store them? You can, of course, store them in a box under the bed, but that's just inconvenient and dusty. And here is how Dmitry Sidorov resolved this situation. We already talked about toolboxes in the previous video. This is also a toolbox, only of a hydro class. The wool construction is based on furniture guide. In it each tool has its own place. And due to the magnets there are held vertically. And the best part about this design is that even if you get more tools, there will be room for them. This device will be useful in suburban appears or in workshop. Homemade blower. It is made from an old vacuum cleaner. We take from it sealing resin, engine and part of the body. 
Next, we fasten the button, handles in the right places and the legs so that we can safely place this device and it won't roll. Handles are made from plastic pipes. In order to bend this kind of pipe and not break it, first hurt the place of the bend with an industrial dryer. Not enough to turn it into goo, of course. And to direct the airflow, the offer of this invention use a horn from a fire extinguisher glued to the epoxy. And with this we get quite a powerful tool, which can be used both to clean a quimping from dust and to clean up a track. Alternatively, you can also just buy a blubber. The next invention will bring lots of joy to those who are interested in welding. This isn't just an angular vise, which you can buy everywhere. This is angular vise for clamping in the three planes. The method of operation you can see now on the screen. Have you ever seen an electric chisel? Honestly, this thing surprised me. This is a full-fledged gadget made to be attached onto a grinder. The device itself isn't complicated. We bend an eccentric on the shaft of a grinder. The chisel itself is attached to the casing on caprolon bushings. And at the excite from the casing we put a spring on the chisel. The way it operates is simple, with pressure on the chisel it goes inside, where the rotating eccentric pushes it out. According to the offer, this chisel will easily ignore almost any type of wood. I also found a video with an interesting device for a milling machine. This is a stencil for milling patterns. It consists of two parts, a frame of a certain shape and a block that is installed on the mill itself. The frame is put on the product and is gripped with clamps. And the blocks is screwed on the mill and allow you to smoothly move the mill inside the frame. Cool stuff! With just one frame you can mill many different patterns and you can come up with many different frames. This device will help those who often have the clean snow in winter, at the garage, around the house, near the store or somewhere else. It's just a scrape on wheels. Of course, it's still impossible to completely abandon the shovel. After all, you will have to move the amount of snow created by the scraper somewhere. But nevertheless, snow removal will clearly become easier. And this contraption is 2-in-1, both a scaffolding and a workbench. The adjustable design of legs allows to settle it down conveniently on any surface, so you'll be able to comfortably work at height places instead of pretending to be a Spider-Man. The table top is quick detachable and made of plywood. Replaceable tips on the legs. This can be wheels or stubs. 
Well, I think that's enough for today. Subscribe to our channel and don't not forget to click on the bell. Thank you for watching. Good luck, good day.